We're back. We thought we'd do an update on Joe's hair, um, which I'll link the original video where we started talking about it. But more importantly, we thought we'd talk about the things that can resurrect your hair when your hair is on its knees. Mm. Broken, battered, bruised, defeated. It's on the ropes. These are the things that will bring <laughs> it back to life. It's on the ropes. I mean, I tell you what, my hair has been through the mill. Oh, it's so processed, I can't tell you. But I, I, I mean, I think hair is one of those things that I don't necessarily think about too much until I have a problem with it. Do you no, know what you're I mean? the top knot queen. Yeah, I love it. I love t tying it up, and I love you makeup all this and putting well. in colour on. You know this cool thing you do. Yeah, but I don't think like when I do that, I don't. I've never been able to leave my hair alone. Your hair looks better like that. I know, but that's because. <laughs> but the reason I don't wear my hair like this is because. I did this the first time around in 1983. <laughs> Sorry, we're back, that was the postman. Anyway, the reason I don't do this, even though I know my hair looks better like this, is because my th theory with all fashion and hair and makeup is if you did it the first time around, you're too old to do it the second time around. What, part so, of your hair on the side? I'm too old to do, oh my God, look, aren't I Debbie Harry? But look, that's the year of my hair, Bananarama, that's the year of my you hair. You do page. look like Bananarama. I know. <laughs> that Siobhan Robert De Niro's waiting, talking Italian. Talking you should link Italian. to a picture of when you did have it like that. Robert De Niro's waiting. Oh, I don't think I've pay, been paid enough for this. No, no, no. <laughs> you, there's not enough money, trust me. Anyway, so now I do the, I'm a proper bloody grown up. I'm going to have grown up hair. You don't. Let's talk about your no. it, it, yeah, Hair's on the ropes. Okay, ding, so ding. hair's on the ropes. Round so nine. I had my... It's bleeding, it's cut, it's on the floor. My, mine was bloody on the floor. It was all... <laughs> but how's it doing? It wasn't anywhere else. So it's... Well, I sort of cheated a bit because just before Christmas, I got really sort of... I went to have my hair coloured. I think you got quite depressed about Oh, yeah, I did. Well. I got, and I got really sad and, like, pathetically sad. And when I put it into a ponytail, it was like this. Yeah. It was like a 5P. Now, let's go back to... Sorry to interrupt, That's but right. let's go back to... Because they'll have a go at me if I interrupt you. Let's go what? What do you mean? <laughs> Let's go back to your... What happened with your blood tests and all that sort of stuff? Okay, so I had my thyroid checked um, because we have a history of underactive thyroid in my family and it wasn't that. Um, my thyroid's fine and I had... My iron was quite low. Yeah. So I started taking iron supplement, um, iron... Um, Sparto. Sparto? Yeah, yeah, I take that. Which is great. Bloody it's really good. Brilliant. We should have that. I'm going to drop that in as one of it's my hair It's really, heroes. really good. And also, I have the one with vitamin C in it. So I find... I have to have the apple one because I can't take the other one because I don't like the taste of it. <laughs> oh, no. It is quite metallic, isn't yeah. it? But also, your body, I get... If I just take iron without vitamin C, I get really bad bloating because vitamin C helps absorb the yeah, iron, it That's it's which true. is why it's in there. So... If ever I take, because I used to take Ferrograd. Have you ever taken Ferrograd? Wow. It makes periods. Yeah, really, really. Um, and so I used to take because every woman who is everyone, every woman who has heavy periods should be supplementing mm. their body with iron with Absolutely. an iron supplement. And I used to take this stuff called Ferrograd, which had vitamin C in it as well. But it used to make your poo go dark, black, black. Yeah, yeah, like lumps of coal. Yeah. <laughs> and you think, oh, that's fine. Who cares? But it's quite sort of. A little bit scary when you sort of... Because I've always had really light periods, obviously I don't have periods anymore, but because I've always had really light periods, I never had a problem with iron. But when I gave up eating red meat about seven years ago, and do you ever do this thing? You know, we were just saying about beauty classics and you forget taking them. So, mm. so I take my supplements. I take probiotics every day because it helps my bloating. I take vitamin D every day because you should. And then every so often, and vitamin B12 for my energy, but then every so often I just forget and I'm like, it's so tired and mm. miserable. And then I'm like, oh, I haven't taken iron for six months. Yeah, it's, it's really Those important. Those Spartans make a real difference to my physical energy. They're really good and they, they're really good. And that's easy. purely because I don't get enough iron in my diet because I don't have periods yeah. anymore, yeah. But if you have the both ends, if you give up red meat mm -hmm. and you don't eat a lot of leafy green vegetables, plus you have heavy periods. Yeah. No, so did they find that your iron levels were low? So my iron levels were low, um, but they weren't, that my hair shouldn't have been falling out low. Um, so then I just plugged on and on and on, you know, but it was still falling out. How long is it since you had your coil taken out? I had it taken out I'll about the video. a month and a half ago. Uh, nearly oh, two, long, months, yeah. two months. Is it making a difference? Well, the doctor said to me that it will, you won't notice a difference until about three months. Are you noticing, i tell you what you might notice, are you noticing like little spiky bits underneath where it's growing back? That's what you should feel. Like, do you remember when you had your babies? 
Mm. Did you get postpartum hair? Yeah, yeah, in straight it? away. Yeah. Also, did you? Are you noticing that sort of? Not yet. You should feel it come back through again. What I had no started to notice was it going at the front. That's when it started. Like I could start seeing there were like um, hair loss at the front. That's because my hair was falling out of the root. So it wasn't because of damage that my hair was falling out. So my colorist, she said, "You're like I had hair that was I had root that was that long, so I didn't get my roots coloured for a long time. Yet it was still falling out yeah. from the root, and that root hair was healthy hair." So um, I did some research and um, it's, there was a lot of, I had the Manera, uh, what's it called, Manera? I can never say it properly. Morena. Morena coil. Um, and I'm sure it's good for lots of people. Um, one of the um, side effects is hair loss, but they don't talk about it necessarily because, you know, it's, it puts people off. It could be hidden away in that paper somewhere. You know that bit of paper mm. you throw away that it comes with? Lots Tiny think, type like this. I just think keeping something in your body for five <clears throat> years, it's bound to have some kind of effect. Anyway, for me, I read an article in the Sydney Morning Herald about um, this particular um, hormone coil and hair loss. And it just made a lot of sense to me because I had basically ticked off everything else that it could be. You're so healthy normally and I do think you eat really healthily as well. well I, it could have oh, been stress. My, yeah, Did you but, have your hormones tested? And I mean, not your thyroid, your oestrogen and progesterone and all that stuff. No, and I probably should have full bloods done, but I just... So expensive. I know, it was really expensive and it was near Christmas. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, it was something like 500 odd quid and I'm like, I'll get around to it. But I also, um, I think, you know, I, I'm, I've kind of had enough of taking birth control. Let's, it's very interesting because I think if your hair doesn't grow back in the next six months, mm. then I think you should think about having a Then I will have my blood, yeah, right. So what i done just before Christmas, so I have have to, the doctor said that your hair is in this site, you won't notice if having the, um, the coil taken out, you have to give it three months before you'd notice anything anyway, because it's been in there for such a long time and yeah. you know, your body's, your body's got, got to readjust, out, yeah. yeah. Um, and then just before Christmas, I got a bit depressed and I'm like, I can't walk around anymore with like, this crappy hair so I went to um, my hairdressers um, Hershison's and I got some tapes put in okay so show them your tapes because one of my hair saviors because I did a video where I had a disastrous haircut and I would never normally say this because most people you look at extensions and I think and I've had the original ring extensions they really mess my hair they damage mm. my hair tapes are so if you can afford it they are so brilliant they genuinely if you have them well maintained they do not damage your hair. And I'm going to show you, because I've took mine out. Mm. <coughs> so so here they are. This is what they look like. That's what a tape looks like, right? So that's my tape that I have put in my hair. If you see a bit of discoloration up here, that's partly where I've dyed my own roots and gone over my own tapes. But that's also the oil I took it out with. So they put one one side of your hair. Yeah. And then let me find the other so side. It's, it sort of clamps it in. Yeah. It? And then they put that the other side of your hair and then they clamp it together and there's still some glue left on that and then they heat it and bind it and then these go in and the advantage of me see how light much lighter than my hair they were in the year I had them in the nine months I had them I had them put in here and then they sat in there like um <laughs> they I, that's why I'm not a hairdresser they sat in there like um highlights as well so I also didn't have to have my hair highlighted they were brilliant show they're, them yours well, do you know what they've done how many have you got in I had not many I think I've got about I had four I've got them here look I there think you I've go. got about 12 wow I only had four but I yeah. literally had nothing to work with and I keep them and because they're real 12. hair and I can have those put back in my hair by the way so no, when I they don't... come out don't throw them away no exactly because they can be really they're real hair but the, the, the reason that they're but they're life changing yeah they are and look, show them your show them so yours. I had what I had is I had something called fillers, which is just like filling your hair out. It's not, this is the length of my hair yeah, now. I it's not creating length, length. Because if you create length, then you need to have more extensions put in. You know, you can't yeah. just have this for you. So I have, can you see that? This yeah, one? they exactly need redoing. They are. Look, there they are. They actually, I'm going in next week to have them. Um, there you go, there's one. Up, but that's one. Yeah, they do need redoing. Be yeah. careful, because that's the thing. You have to have them taken out, so they dissolve the glue, and they basically put them back up your hair where it's yeah. grown. That's the thing. If they get really low, long and low, they can pull on your natural hair, because obviously you need them at the strongest mm. part of your hair. I swear, 
I was in tears after that haircut. So I totally understand for a, from a small point of view what you go through losing your hair. And obviously I don't know, it must be really traumatic. But honestly, hand on art, they changed my hair. Oh, and they I love allowed them. me to grow my hair so well. Gio, the guy that did mine, I'll link the video below of me having them done. Gio, he's gone to work in Dubai now, but he's absolutely brilliant. You just need to find somebody and you need to have properly trained people that put tapes in. Yeah. It's the tapes that are the secret, don't have the old fashioned rings, the Britney Spear ones, they rip your hair out. Yeah, and also the thing with the tapes, you need ones that are very fine mm. because some of them, some of the tapes, the cheaper ones, are really heavy and they're really thick. And if you have those put in, they will pull your so hair. Yours real hair as well. Yeah. Uh, these are, yeah, I had these done. These are the Hersh Hershens have their own ones, Do their they? own real hair ones, yeah. This girl called, but the good thing is, mine was an American brand, the one that the Kardashians use. I'll find it and I'll link it below. But the good thing, I was in and out in, it was done in half an oh, hour. Oh, so quick. Super did you, fast. Did you ever have the old ones? Yes, I did. I was in there they, all day. Oh, you know, know. day of your life and it is amazing. But those are so quick. Each one takes seconds. Um, yeah, I know. 20 seconds to put in. It's incredible. I was in and out. And I actually want mine put back in again. Now I think you should. Well, I look back to what they look like before. And again, I did not go for length. I just went for body. And the, you get that do you know what Instagram I... styly hair. Right. You... What else do you like to repair your okay. hair? Okay, um, to repair my hair. Okay, so if I'm doing something where I don't... Oh, yes, where so is you need my... to go and get it. Where is I'll it? do mine, you go okay. and get yours. Right, okay, so if we're talking about hair repairers, I still really like Olaplex. And I don't know if you know anything about Olaplex, but Olaplex is was when it was launched three years ago complete everybody's tried to copy it now they i don't think they did a very good internet intellectual property stroke patent on it it's a sulfur bond rebuilder so it's not a protein it doesn't coat the hair it goes into the hair and it rebuilds it from the inside out it's amazing it can be added to color but the way to do it is to go into a salon and do the first and the second step they've now launched there's a third step, which is a conditioner, and a fourth step, which is now a leave-in sort of blow-dry lotion. You can buy it online. If you read the instructions carefully, you can do it at home, but my advice is to go and get it done in a salon. It's groundbreaking. Loads of people have copied it. I still think this is the original and the best. It's amazing. But you can use it at home. Yeah, you can use it now. They've now released it for use at home. In, what does it quite like that tagline? What does it say? Insurance for, for your, your client's hair. hair. So that proves that it was originally launched for salons. Then what happened was the really big hair conglomerates came along, copied the technology, and obviously have all the money behind it. So they're now available. I think you can buy it from places like Colt or Phil Unique and stuff like that. It's well, well, well worth it. Mm, rebuilds everything. You? Mine is a bit of a classic. A classic. Yeah. Should have put this in our classics video. Um, you can see that. It's well used. It's the Philip Kingsley um, elasticizer. Yeah. The slight sort of ball ache with it is that you have to, it's a pre shampoo treatment. You're technically supposed to sleep in it overnight. Well, I, that's time. what yeah. I do, but I actually find that I don't really like sleeping with a wet head or a damp head. Do you know what I mean? I don't do like sleeping. You have to sleeping. put that much on that your hair's actually damp. That must ruin your silk pillowcases as well. I'm not good with overnight treatments, I must have No, been. I'm not hugely, uh, but I have done it. Um, well, you're supposed, you can put a cap over it and then sleep in it, but I just... Okay, so how do you use that? You talk about um, how So I put it on, on camera. as a pre-shampoo treatment. Um, so I can't do it. Oh my God, this is um, steaming. Um, I can't use it if I've got to just go out somewhere. It's got to be, you've got to have time yeah. to let it sort of like... How long do you leave it in for? Uh, you can, I think you can leave it on for 10 minutes, but I used to leave it on for like hours. Do you? Yeah, like all day. If I'm not going anywhere, it yeah. doesn't matter, does it? And then you just shampoo it out afterwards and um, condition it as normal. But make sure you use shit loads of shampoo. I see that, I don't get it. I just think it could have, by the time you've used two dehydrating shampoos, do you really think it's worth it? Do you, have you yeah. noticed a difference? I have. I think this is one of those things. It's a stinker. Cat's hair. No, it's cat's hair. Oh, is it? Um, I just think that it's it's just one of the best. Like, there's so many masks and so many different hair treatments and all this kind of stuff. I think that this is the one that even hairdressers love. And yeah, think no, they do. It. It's so true. If, if it's good enough for them, and I think that it's and it's also affordable. It's not that expensive. No. You get it from m &S. I should try and get Annabelle Kingsley, who is Philip Kingsley's daughter, mm. on here to answer all of your hair queries because she's a trichologist. And she's very smart. She gets it. <clears throat> I've got two of those kind of repair things. Mm. But Can you I see, try this one? Yeah. But what I do is I apply, and I've talked about these loads, I apply these after blow drying because I believe the secret is to seal something in your hair with heat. 
Yeah, I do think it's a bit sort of... But I don't think you'll like these, and the reason you won't like them is because they're for smooth, silky ends. Yeah, but my hair, I've just got completely caught in the um, rain, and my hair has just gone... So that is Kerastar Cement Thermique, it's iconic, I it's don't classic. like the smell of that. And that is Redkin Extreme Anti-Snap, so try this one. <laughs> that was money shot. <laughs> oh, at least you know what it means. People keep using it all the time in work as like a, as a term. I'm like, really? Yes. So basically what you can put it on like that to section and make your hair a bit more chunky. But basically what you do is you put it on and you heat your hair. You put it on damp hair, you dry your hair and then you can put it on afterwards as well. So that's why I love them. I just think they're really good. I think the more you get what you pay for when it comes to good hair products. That said, I discovered a John Frieda one the other day, a big tub of conditioner that I left in the back of the cupboard and I'd forgotten how good it was. Miraculous Repair. Yeah. So it good. It is really good. It's one of those, but that's a classic. That's a classic. Yeah. Miraculous Repair. Yeah, it I is. I looked at it and I thought, oh, this must be from one of our trips back in the days. It must have been like six or seven years old. I thought, oh, I'll use it. It'll be fine. It was amazing. Yeah, it's a, a, a Miraculous Repair. Yeah. I, I think the original sort of John Frieda products are amazing. They oh, really so stand good. up. When John was series. involved in the brand, it was amazing. So, what else have I got? I let's get, do the steaming Let's tom. do the steaming Talking tom. of the money shot. <laughs> <laughs> now, look it up. <laughs> I'm very interested in this. They know. I'm very interested in this because you don't look like you use anything like this on your hair. Yeah, no, but I do because if I didn't, it would be really frizzy. Look at that. It also sounds like a rude sex toy as well. Well, I mean, it's quite bloody hot. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing anything with it. I meant the bloody hell, could you imagine? No. I mean, I know I'm desensitised <laughs> down there, but for God's sake. There's a limit. I oh, know, I mean. Um, I, I love the fact that she didn't worry about the, the nodules or the wits, just the heat. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. Right, so this is so this fabulous. Yeah, oh my, which this one? It's a fabulous barrel. is heated up, and you can turn. It has three different heat sort of settings, and then and you just ramped it straight up to three. No, I'm on two. Oh, good on you. One or two. One or two because and oh. then it can three go, is really for people who've got. It can really go. It can turn either way. Yeah, so it can so turn left or, or right. right. What I like about this one, as opposed to some of the more modern incarnations of it, is it's slow. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. go really quickly, so you don't worry about trapping this your hair. This is actually quite a new, new, new product. It's, it's been around product. that long. Yeah, maybe like a year or two, like just under two years. Yeah, so it's quite... Um, but look at that. You know when your hair is just needs... Like, could you see? Like, it was really frizzy. It's, it's uh, smooth. For you, you use it for smoothing. For me, I just use it as a finisher, right? So if you are... You're putting it the wrong way, though, oh, aren't sorry. you? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm looking in the camera, aren't oh, no, I? That's why. That's oh, it. there you go. And it just gives... See, it'll wave my hair. That's it. See, how I look at that? You see, it'll wave my hair, because my hair will wave Yeah, but also, you, it was the way you were twisting it as well. You were twisting it so that it did that. I think it's brilliant. Like, if you, if you tr struggle doing this... No, no, what have you done? No, it's all right. It's fine. <laughs> there you go. It just gives a finish. I like that. And I like the fact that it's a big barrel so it doesn't create Instagram waves. I don't like Instagram no. waves anymore. I'm over Instagram waves. I can't oh. actually see that. I don't, I'm sorry, I should be looking here and not in there. But it's very yeah. annoying for you guys. You see? Yeah. But you don't always... I like the fact that it's slow. Oh, yeah. So it... you've got no panic. And also, can I just say, that technically should have trapped in my hair and it didn't trap in my hair. It came out smoothly as well. And that's the difference. It's because it's got plastic... Uh, uh, yeah, prongs. Prongs, thank you. Her. Rather than bristles, because the bristle ones can get trapped. Do you know what? I remember when my... Do you remember my, my nan had one when we were kids? And I used it, and she said, don't you use any of our stuff. You know, you use your own things. Don't use any of mine. And I remember I got the whole bloody thing trapped in my Did hair. Did they have to cut it out? Yeah, they had to cut it out. Yeah. She was furious. I love that. Do you know what? You sent that to me, yeah. and I so didn't try that, and I should have tried that. I'm really loving but that. But it's also... It's just so easy. Have you ever tried the Fabulous Smoothing Brush? The heated brush? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you should use to smooth your hair. It's brilliant. Yeah, but I don't like brushing. Oh, yeah, because you don't want to brush your hair. No. But can you, it just gives you a little bit of a... <laughs> dirty oh, bit. Brush. <laughs> I'll turn that off. You can <laughs> use it later as a sex toy. <laughs> Uh, talking of brushes, I do think it's really important not to damage or tangle and rip your hair. And there used to be an idea back in the day that to detangle your hair, you used 
a solid comb and I just love the fact that Tangle Tees are this is the wet detangler, it comes with a handle now. And this is the wet detangler and it's just the best. I love them. They send us so oh. much stuff for beauty banks as well, oh, I love them. Oh, feel that on your scalp. It, it massages the scalp, it doesn't tug your hair, it doesn't break your hair, my cats are addicted to it, I swear. Do you know what I love about it's it? It's brilliant. Because I've got these for my I face. like the Ultima, I like that. And I like the little compact ones as well, but that's just I so like good. this because of the handle. Yeah. Because if you're brushing a kid's yeah. hair, it it flies out of your hand. Yeah. Whereas this is just we've got there's a new pink one. I've got them for my kids. Has it got a massive base to it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. the ultimate. They're the ones that my cat's obsessed with. They're really good. They're, it's the, they're the best. My hair, if my hair could talk, it'd be like, what the bloody hell's going on? <laughs> it'd be like, oh, there's some foreign object. Quick! Oh my god, it's a brush! I, ah. <laughs> they li it literally has no idea. See, that's why I don't brush it. Yeah, but if you brush it and then put some of that in it, it'll be fine. Oh yeah, and then... Actually, you're just too cool to brush it. No, hair, I'm then. not. I'm just, um, I just don't like being smooth. That's good. Like that. Right, what else? That, that. I've done all my nails. Oh, oh this is just I my did, last Sorry, one. I did my reckoning. Oh, yeah. I know about sorry. that, so I did them quickly. This is just for when... I, because so I try not to blow dry my hair that often. I maybe blow dry it once a week, and for the rest of the time, I just leave it by itself to dry. So at night, and then go to bed. No, I never morning. ever sleep. No, 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 no. I, if I do a Philip Kingsley treatment that I left it on overnight, it will be because I have. You're doing it in the morning. Shall yeah, you? and then I've left I've left it on until the next day. I can't so go you, to bed with so a wet you hair. Commute to work with wet hair. Yeah. Oof. Okay. And it's a complete myth, you don't get colds or flus or anything like that from the But it also, I have to prioritise, and I will always prioritise putting makeup on. Yeah. You know, so... Whereas I wouldn't, I prioritise my hair. You obviously don't have greasy hair, do you? No. I've got really greasy hair. But you can fry even with blonde hair. Fry an egg on this head after... This is the second day, I couldn't go a third day. Really? Yeah, yeah, but you don't use dry shampoo. No. Lazy bitch, wash your hair. <laughs> This right, one is so this amazing. Is, this is, um, it's like an air foam dryer. So, so this is way basically like a mousse. Um, so when your hair, when my hair, how I use it? So you do, sorry, you use it on wet hair. I use it after I've washed my hair. Yeah, on wet hair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's called way air dry foam. Yeah. So you basically just let your hair air dry. So With you put thing. it in your hair. Just wash your hair. Put it in. Uh, sorry, wash your hair. Brush it. Oh. If that's what you do. Um, and then let it put this in, root to tip, leave it. What does it do that it just, just hair dry wouldn't holds, do? It just holds, because for me my hair's so frizzy that if I left it with it nothing... It frizzes. Well, it sort of defrizzes. It defines a sort of... I've got a wave in my hair as well, like um, a slight bend. It, it latches onto that so it just defines that wave, defines that curl. It just keeps everything sort of smooth <laughs> down, bless you, and um, I love controlled. I love yeah, they're really good. They're just oh. for like, if you just want to like, wash and go, it does it for you. It just makes your... I, there's another one as well called um, a dry texture foam that you put in when your hair is dry and that just gives you a little bit of a zhuzh up. You know, it's if not you that just sticky. Want it's dried and it's no, not no, sticky. No, no, it's not sticky. It's not sticky. I mean, I'd still I want to wash my hair. I think mousse is, I think, sticky. Yeah, and I'd say this is more of a foam than a mousse. Actually, look. that is, yeah. Do you know why? Look. Because of that, that's the, the air thing. Compaction thing yeah. that puts air into it. But what I mean, like, that for me is a, a mousse doesn't dissolve yeah, as fast no, that's as that. You're yeah. right. Yeah, so it's. Fine. Just leave air it. Air dry foam. Air dry foam. It is a foam. She's so right. Oh, is it called foam? Oh, there you go. God, but it says so good. mousse they air smell, smell so good. Yeah, it's a great product. But above it, it says air dry foam. Yeah, in French, it's mousse. Mousse air libre. Free mousse. Yeah, that's true. So in France, do they not have a differentiate a, a language differentiation between foam and mousse? French followers, let us know. <laughs> that's very true. Very cerebral today. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so they are our hair um, resurrectors, hair gods. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. So Bring either you want to cheat your way to more hair, repair yeah. your hair, that's hair what cheats. I do. That's what I do. Yeah. Whereas you're all about adding volume, body and yeah. conditioning. Yeah, exactly. And sort of faking it till you're making it. Yeah, and let's be honest here, we're both faking it till we make it. Boy, we are the beauty hacks, bringing you our hair beauty hacks. <laughs> 
follow her at Jo L Jones and I should put the details of all the products down below including the proper names of absolutely everything that we obviously can't remember because we've taken them out of the box and now we can't remember I know yeah. yeah I mean I just use this you know not... I'm seriously I'm I'm, I'm going to try it's that it's really tonight. good I really like that it's but really I think good. I'm probably going to get a bit more of a finished look from it than you are well has it or not has it just smoothed it no it's smoothed it and you've got a slight bend in yeah, it yeah I quite like that yeah it looks, it's, 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 I think it's really good all she's really thinking is put some dry shampoo in it and yeah I know for, for god's sake, god's sake. <laughs> Get with the pro uh, granny <laughs> thank you for watching thank you for subscribing we'll put all the details down below of everything and any questions or video ideas you've got for the beauty hacks we will jump on Jo will answer she's very good she does go down and answer and justifies me interrupting her the whole time um when you ever go at me uh, <laughs> or you say I look like Benjamin Cumberbatch <laughs> oh, Benedict oh what I always call Benjamin. Benjamin yeah you I actually saw did him. half and half you did bend him in. Oh, I did, like, he's just not hot. At least people tell me I look like Meryl Streep, which I, I go, her much younger sister, but I'm still fine with Meryl Streep no matter what. Yeah, well, it's not a nice man, is it? <laughs> just not. With his eyes on his uh, temples. <laughs> 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 Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you soon. Bye.